thought I would pop over to the allotment next door to my house. Look at that beautiful evening sunshine. I haven't been over for a while, but the last time I did come over, my winter cabbages were doing quite well. I think it was my purple sprout in broccoli was doing well. So just thought I'd stroll over, got some food for good old Rusty to have and just spend a few minutes just enjoying that beautiful sunset. Oh, I've just remembered I forgot to bring my stuff over for the compost bin. There we go, look at them. Purple sprout and broccoli, doing very well. Some Swiss chard, just a bit of a weed on this plot, but it's a good weed to have. Cabbages, been eaten a bit by whatever. But the purple sprout in it is looking gorgeous. Obviously, a bit of work to be done. But this is going to be no dig allotment so come next spring it'll all be finished i think somebody's just woken up from bed you've been sleeping come yeah, on then let's go and give you some food it's thrusty He loves it, doesn't he? Beautiful view from out the shed here as well, especially in this evening light. Look at that sun. That promises to be a very nice day tomorrow. Well, look at this, half seven, and it's already dark. I've come out because the moon is rather big. So I thought I'd film it. So I've just moved into the park. It's only half seven. Fortunately, the clouds are coming over. So we'll see it how good a shot we can get now. Just go into it. Then I'll bring down the exposure. Let's see if you can see anything. Look at that. That is not even the full. I can go in further than that. Let's have a look. How far can we go? There we go. We're right at the end of the zoom now. Ah, the cloud has moved in front of it. There we go. Look at that. Difficult to keep it still. The cloud is just in the way there. So if it does clear up, I might come back. But looking at the rest of the sky, I think that is the best that we're going to get tonight. Makes you start thinking, doesn't it, about your position in the world. My position's going to be next door to a cup of tea in a minute, because it's quite chilly. But who's, you know, half seven, it's dark. We're certainly heading into winter. 
Just as I was packing up in the park, a policeman just appeared out of the darkness with a with a flashlight, saying that there'd been a complaint that a woman had just taken her dog out about twenty minutes ago, and she was she had a flashlight that was rather bright, and she said she was walking down, and she put the light to have a look at this guy's face, and he started to scream at her. Um, probably to say, can you put the flashlight down, facing the path, not into somebody's face? And uh, they've come out to have a word with the guy for shouting at her. And I said, oh, well, I've only been out ten minutes. And he said, oh, I'm just, you know, because you do look like the person that we've had the complaint about. <laughs> I said, well, I can show you the tape. I've been here for ten minutes. And he said, oh, well, we had the report twenty minutes ago. But look, you can't even go out into your local park in the middle of the dark to do a bit of filming. And to send people out, you know, shouldn't be going around the park with a flashlight putting it into people's faces. The rules are, as far as I'm aware, you put it to the ground or to the dog or whatever. I don't have a cup of tea. What is the world coming to? Wouldn't it be amazing to live in a house like that there? Well, your back garden was the forest. Well, it's a new day, and today I was the plan was was to go to a place called Newham, 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 because I wanted to go and buy a book. But unfortunately, public transport in London is all over the place today. There are train strikes. This, is, this seems to be a national train strike. So I have only got as far as the next sort of district which is about 10 minutes from my house so I thought what can I do to try and use up the time so I thought I'd come back for a little walk in the woods look at that there's a street light I wouldn't like to uh, walking down here on a winter's evening even with street lights so like I was saying, I thought I would just come for a little meander, but now that I'm in here, I've just remembered I can give you an update. Look at this, uh, look at this gate here. That's into somebody's back garden, that is. Beautiful. Yeah, I was just thinking, I can give you an update, because if you, I don't think the video is on my channel now, but many years ago, you will remember, I was just walking through the woods one day, and I heard about a fight to save the oak trees. There's two big oak trees by the side of the uh, bridge here that was made famous, and I can't remember his name now. Uh, I'll put it up on screen. It was made famous by a painter who did a painting from this bridge. And the bridge has been there for quite a while, but the trees on each side have been there for about 200 years. And they were being threatened to be pulled down and people came up here and somebody slept quite a few of them slept here and they saved the trees but from my understanding when they left a few weeks later and this is where I'm a bit confused I can't remember whether the council came back and chopped them down so we'll find out now so that's the road down there to Lordship Lane, where, the, where there used to be an old train station. Look at that bench, beautiful bench there. Come and have a little sit and look at the views. Now it said pedestrians can't go left, but I think that leads us down to the trees. So we will go and have a look. So with there being a train strike, there are lots of cars out. And even the buses are slow. Ah, here's the bridge. I can't work out whether the trees are gone. Let's go a bit closer. Ah, there's a danger sign. So here it is. It's been closed off for years. But I can see there are trees down there. So they look as if they might have been saved. Now, even though we can't go across the bridge, I am aware that we can slide, and we will be sliding, 
underneath it. So let us have a look. This is part of the London Wildlife Trust. So we don't want to go up there. I think we're going to have to go through this fence. So I've just got to watch my foot in as I go down here. Oh, look at that. Somebody's forgotten their tripod. So I'm just shimmying down the side. It's a good job it's been dry recently. Look at this. Put a fence up rather than fixing it. When I was here last, from what I remember, they were saying that they had to take the trees out in order to build a new bridge which made made no sense because the bridge was here when they the trees were here when they built the bridge the first time around so I think they were just going for the easy option of just take the trees out and then we'll put a new bridge in but the thing is once the trees are gone then they wouldn't put them back. So here we are. So this used to be part of the railway that used to go straight down there, which would take you to Lordship Lane. And I think there's a bit of a pathway that goes down here. So let's have a little wander. Oh, look, there's a little gent there's a gentleman doing some drawing. Are you okay in to be filmed? What are you doing? Oh, I'm just doing a little uh, video. Yeah, sure. So you're, you're drawing the bridge? Yeah, I'm just working on the bridge at the moment. Just Hope trying to get the perspective right. Hopefully it's, it will stay there rather than be pulled down. Yeah, I hope so, for sure. It'd Which be is... nice to see some, um, some work done on it. It's been like this for years now. Yeah, I was just saying, the last time I was here, they were threatening to cut the trees down. Oh, really? And, uh, but the trees are still, the trees are still there. The trees are, are kind of what make the space in a way. Yeah, they um, they threatened to cut them down, but two people chained themselves, oh, and they stayed here for about three for about three weeks, and right. they managed to save them. But then I heard that as soon as they left, they came and cut them. But they're still they're still there, so it's, so they've obviously saved them. But I was just saying they built the bridge when the trees were here last time, oh. so I don't know why they need to get rid of the trees in order to build the new bridge. No, I guess it probably makes the job much harder, doesn't it? Really. Yeah. So is this just for your? Space. Is this just for your personal use, or do yeah. you? Uh, no, it's just for for. Well, hopefully, only for the time being. Hopefully, one day I'll be able to make a career out of it. But. So, where can people find you? Do you have like an uh, Instagram or? Yeah, yeah, I've got an Instagram. It's uh, right here, actually. Actually, there's three R's. That's it. There you go. And we'll put the link to that in the description below. Oh, thank you. But this is what's so good to get out from behind a computer. Get out, go for a walk, and you don't know who you will bump into. Who knows now? Maybe that guy, in 10 years time, will be a famous artist. And I can say, I met him in the woods. Look at this here. There's a lovely fence that is, and something that we can do on the allotments. I'm sure there's wildlife in, in there. But I'm not going to disturb it and to carry on having a meander through the woods. It's nice to be here at the start of autumn because every time I've been here before it has been autumn or winter. So it's nice to see it at a different time while there's still a bit of greenery. So now I'm walking down the path of where the railway was. Look at this gate. I do love these type of gates. 
I don't think it, it would be that expensive to try and recreate them on the actual plot because it's just bits of wood and a bit of wire right let's uh, go through this gate We have an information board here which says that some of the wood in the wood has been here for more than 400 years and these form part of the ancient woodland which has been around since 1800 when the first maps were drawn of the of the area it has English bluebells and sweet wood rough whatever that one is we'll have to come back and have a look now i do know that over on one side it'll take you to the allotments which as much as i would love to have a house overlooking the woods i don't think i would love an allotment because just think of all the animals that would come out of the woods looking for food on the allotment site I don't think there's any deer here, but I would imagine there's lots of badgers and certainly lots of lots of foxes. And I can see some owl boxes up as well. Maybe we should come back here of an evening and record the sounds of the woodland at dusk. Now there's an old pond here and I wonder if this is the pond that John Rogers was trying to find. John made a video where he was looking for the source of the Ephra, the Ephra River, which comes up in this woodland. So who knows, John, if you're watching, this could be the source. So I don't know where I'm gonna go, because I've come off the, the beaten path, and I'm certainly going to go and just follow my nose and see where we end up, and see where we end up. These woods are very busy, especially during the lockdown period. There are hundreds of people here. Uh, look, see, up, up there, there are boxes with numbers on. So maybe they're for owls or there's loads of squ squirrels running all over the place. And then from out of the woods, we have a folly which is just that a fake structure which was actually part of somebody's garden because all this land originally was gardens to the big house and if you remember last time I was here we were trying to find the house of Lina Log who was the speech therapist to the king And if we had time, well, we have got time, but I don't feel up like doing it today. We can go over this fence and go through the actual gardens and find old foundations of greenhouses and sheds. And I hope that I've shown throughout the years that London is not as built up as people initially think it is. In fact, there are is far more greenery around than you would first think especially in central london if you think about all the parks that we've got but this is something special this is on the doorstep so have a look on google or something and see what is in your area that you haven't been to and try and find the time to go and have a look at it look at this year a tree has fallen down in probably one of the storms and i'm assuming the woodland trust they made some seats out of it so people can have a little sit down this path is quite nice this is the type of path i've always wanted on the allotment site with this sort of golden shingle in fact i did have it once if you remember on the the railway garden so i might get some more see it's good to look at the the, the trunks when they've fallen over 
Now, a lot of people would like to clean this up, but just leave it. Nature will soon take it back, like it's doing there, with all the ivy going over the top. But sometimes it's good just to have five minutes peace and walk around. Well, I'm not going to spend too much time here because, to, to be honest, I'm out of breath <laughs> and a cup of tea is calling. But before we do go, I'm just going to take you to show you the entrance of where the railway was. Remember when I said about the railway? Well, the tunnel is still there and now it's blocked off. But I think it is home to bats. So we'll have a quick look at that and then we'll head off. I'll come back very early in the morning because there's a lot of families here and I'm trying not to get them in the video but this now takes us to Sydenham Hill Woods if we could go through the tunnel and it would be great to have this feature here when you just walk through but at least the bats are making the most of it in the meantime there it is huge thing I don't know how long it is not not very long I don't think well that's it that's all for me who knew we were coming to the woods today I'll have to come back and make the most of this space that's on my doorstep but I'm gonna head home now like I said have a cup of tea oh I think I might have had a parcel I'll tell you about that in the next one so for me until then bye for now